Over the last couple of years, we've had a lot of dry conditions throughout much of the Midwest. So we've talked to a lot of farmers about what they can do to drought proof their crops. And we've thought about that even in our own operation. We wanna have the most drought tolerant crop possible. There are many steps you can take besides just planting drought tolerant seed. The number one thing in terms of drought proofing your crop is making sure you have a good root system down there. Now there are obviously many steps to getting a good root system, but where I always like to start is, let's talk about drain tile. If you have tile in the ground, even tile just down at three feet deep, you can keep that water table down and roots grow so fast early in the season, you don't even realize you've got this tiny little plant there with a huge root on it already so you want to make sure that you have your tile line down at like i say three feet so your water table is down there so you can get three feet of growth on that root early in the season what happens too often is you get a foot of growth you get a foot and a half of growth and then your roots die nothing goes below that because the water table is too high early in the spring and the roots are getting established and then later in the summer you say man i wish i had deep roots well it all started from way back early in the spring when you were cool and wet you didn't give your plant enough room to grow deep roots well drainage tile is one thing and getting that water table controlled is a big deal but also so compaction brand when we think about just yep. the plow pan that we've made maybe at six or eight inches deep and then the natural compaction layer that's often at 14 to 17 inches deep depending on where you're at and if you've had some soil erosion and those kind of things if we can slice through those layers of compaction we can allow our roots to get down then let's talk about nutrients just a little bit we've discussed on previous shows nutrient stratification when you don't have nutrients down where the water is that's not a good thing you know that those top few inches of soil are going to dry out when you have a dry period in the summer but yes there's moisture down below and your roots can get that moisture if they aren't bringing any nutrients up with that moisture though it doesn't do you a whole lot of good and then let's carry it a step further if you have the right balance of nutrients and the right amount of nutrients in your soil at all times you have a much more drought tolerant crop because did you know that if your crop is short on any one nutrient what it's going to start doing is it's going to start pulling in more water even though it might not need more water it is pulling in water because that's how most nutrients get into plants so you in effect by not having the right fertility the right balance of fertility the right amount of fertility the right placement of fertility you have made your crop a lot less drought tolerant one other thing that a lot of people kind of take for granted and we forget about this because it seems so basic but having just unbelievably good weed control is a huge deal when you get into a drought when your crop is suffering for lack of moisture you just can't afford for something else to be taking that moisture away. For that reason, pre-emerge herbicides are just critical. Kind of the last thing too is just reducing your tillage. We've switched to uh, no-till a number of years back and now more recently we've been doing strip-till for quite a few years and doing less tillage on our farm certainly helps. Every time you're doing tillage, you're releasing some of that moisture back out of the soil. That's made a difference for us. Yeah, but one of the reasons why that reduction in tillage is important too is we're trying to build our organic matter. If you have more organic matter in your soil, you have more water holding capacity. So do what you can to build that organic matter. All these steps are really important and can you accomplish all of them in one year? No, but it's about the long-term process, trying to drought proof your crop, trying to build up your soil, trying to help your ground become fit to handle any weather condition rather than just ideal conditions. Well, one other thing, as we mentioned before, to drought proofing your crop is getting great weed control. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed coming up next.